Hi, my name's Chris, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the interface of SAP Lumira. SAP Lumira allows you to connect to your databases and then to the data on your spreadsheets. Our goal is to help you transform that data into visual elements like bar charts, heat maps, and several other formats. This helps to provide you with a good overview of what's happening in your business. Analyzing these visual elements will allow you to see trends, identify patterns, and uncover areas that need your attention. So let's get started. On the top left corner of the home page, you'll find the menu icon that expands the general menu where you can set your preferences, import files, save files, and export your findings. You can also access the help section and the custom extension section from this menu. If you select preference from this menu or use the control P shortcut, you open a sub menu where you can select your language preferences from one of the 17 languages currently available in Lumira. You can also update the global settings for viewing data as well as select or create your color palettes. There are settings for data enrichment, software updates, and network connections as well. You can also maintain your database drivers and your geomapping services from this menu. If you select extensions from this dialog box or use the control J shortcut, you can install custom extensions from the SAP App Center. Custom extensions provide quick access to new functionalities for Lumira, like accessing additional data sources like Quandl, the extension that gives you access to public data, or leveraging additional visualization types like mini donut charts. Custom extensions are created by SAP employees, SAP partners, or people like you and me. Some of the extensions are free and others are available to be purchased. Now, if we go back to the home page, you'll notice that at the top, we're divided into three sections data source, recently used, as well as an interactive banner. The data source section displays a wide range of data sources that you can tap into with SAP Lumira. You can directly access data from your Microsoft Excel and CSV files, as well as your clipboard. If you want to connect to your databases like Microsoft SQL Server or SAP HANA or any other database, you can access them by clicking the Query with SQL tile. Now, if you add a custom extension, you'll be provided with even more data source connectors like Google Analytics, Eloqua, and Marketo, just to name a few. Right next to the data source section is the recently used documents, which displays the list of your saved documents and visualizations, sorted in chronological order. Next to that section, we have the interactive banner section, which works as a resource page. It provides you with news and highlights, access to tutorial videos in different languages, and useful links that will enhance your Lumira experience. If you want to get in touch with us or provide your feedback, just follow the links. Moving down the page, you'll find two clickable links, Local Documents and SAP BI Platform. Local Documents displays all the work that you have created and saved in Lumira. You can change how your files are displayed by clicking the list format icon next to the search window and refresh button. Like the tile view better? Click the icon to go back again. Now, speaking of the refresh button, the refresh button allows you to perform a manual refresh of your files in case you've added any new data to your source files. The SAP BI Platform link opens the logon screen for SAP Business Intelligence Enterprise Platform Server. Enter your credentials and connect to your SAP BI server and use the data from it to create visualizations in Lumira. You can then save them onto your launch pad and have others in your organization access your Lumira reports safely and securely. Now this feature is specifically for customers who have a license to the SAP BI platform. If you or your company do have a license, you can get the credentials from your IT department or SAP license administrator. If not, you can contact us for more details. Well, that brings this video to a close. I hope that it'll help you as you do your initial setup of SAP Lumira. Thanks for joining us.